Hello, my name is Dr. Jason Witham. This is BIT 477-577, a North Carolina State University course in bioinformatics. This video is part of a series of two short videos. In this video, I'll orient you to the K-based narrative that was created to teach you how to extract microbial genomes from metagenomes, perform phylogenomic analysis, metabolic modeling, and how to predict key media ingredients for isolating uncultured members of microbiomes. In the second video, we'll go through the details of applications in the narrative. This series is connected to the K-based narrative, Case Study, Can You Find Delphia? And together they make the silver and gold narrative set, which is meant to introduce you to the K-based platform for accessible reproducible bioinformatics. K-based narrative is called Determining Media Formulation Requirements for Isolation of Microbiome Constituents. It's a publicly available narrative and can be found with search on the K-based dashboard. In this summary cell, you'll see the full workflow from uploading next generation sequencing reads to read processing, assembly, binning, annotation, phylogenomic analysis, and metabolic modeling. A main lesson cell further breaks down these tasks and the following cell provides hyperlinks to different sections of the narrative. So that you can better manage your time, I have prepared a cell that tells you how long it will take for applications to run. As long as they don't fail, occasionally apps will fail and in those situations, you can submit a ticket to the help desk and re-execute your application. Each K-Base application has an info tab with hyperlinks to more extensive application documentation. For your convenience, I've included all those hyperlinks in this cell. This read hygiene cell is the beginning of the first section of applications. In this section, you'll learn about importing your sequencing reads, evaluating their quality, and trimming them. Next, you'll evaluate the taxonomy of reads in your data set because the following step, assembly, is very computationally intensive and there's a limited amount of computer power, power you can access in KBase. You'll need to randomly subsample your reads so your assembly job doesn't fail. After you subsample and before you assemble, you'll want to check that the taxonomy of your reads still looks the same as the original data, data set. Now you're ready to assemble your reads. You won't just use one assembler though, you'll get to try out three that are commonly used in the field. Then you'll get to compare the quality of each assembly and with the best assembly, you'll separate the contigs into bins. These bins should contain sequences from individual species. You'll then try two different binning softwares and evaluate the quality of bins they produce. Then you'll use an extraction application to separate individual bins from the collective. You will then annotate your bin contigs, which just means you'll tag information about where genes start and stop and their predicted functions. Your bin contigs represent a metagenome assembled genome, which is shortened to MAG. A MAG is typically an incomplete draft of an organism's genome that is highly fragmented. You'll have the opportunity to discover the identity of the organism whose genome you have extracted, or at least what is closely related to based on its placement in a phylogenetic tree. Since you have annotated the genome of your mystery organism, you can create a metabolic model based on the gene annotations. In other words, if you have genes for sulfur metabolism, the sulfur metabolism pathway will appear in the model. You'll have the opportunity to generate a model with and without gap filling. Gap filling adds reactions that are typically required for growth. Sometimes microbes are actually missing important reactions that enable them to biosynthesize growth factors. Instead, they import those growth factors from their environment. While a gap filled step in the model may indicate a missing gene in the organism's genome, 
It may also just be that the DNA for the gene was missing in the assembly. That's why it's important to perform metabolic modeling with high quality, near complete mags. Then having models with and without gap filled reactions can help you determine what growth factors are required for media to isolate and culture a previously uncultured microbiome constituent. The end of the narrative summarizes what we did and learned and provides references from the literature that were considered in the narrative. In the next video, we will dive deeper into the applications and talk about the specifics of inserting them into a narrative, configuring and executing them. See you in the next video.